So here we go, the, the small building, the, super, the house project. We fill, we've got intensification, and we've got maintenance of uh, already a very generous urban fabric. Yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's almost a restorative project without needing all the grass and the windmills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Geothermal heat pump, which will provide two thirds of the hot water needs. It has grey water um, recovery. You know, it, it seems to have a very intelligent, uh, detailed use of um, water and heat from the ground. And it's got a lot of recycled materials. So it's very intelligently done, I think. And it is something that came up in our discussions about community and multi-generational living. Yes. And this one was the only one that we saw that really focused on how we might become uh, formed as families and communities in the future and how our architecture can support that shift. I just think this is a, f a fabulous model on every level for housing. One thing that really speaks to the success of this project is the cost of it, $100 a square foot, you know, that's a very buildable model. That's something that any group that wants to have a sustainable solution can emulate. To, to manage to get in all these uh, the strategies, the, the solar, the geothermal, you know, the list just goes on with the HEPA filter, the tubular skylights, um, what else did they have? Growing food on the roof. Yeah, the green roof, yeah. I mean, all of those are things that many um, people cut out because they say, well, we can't afford that. So yeah. one of the things we try and do when we're building sustainably is just to use less stuff. And again, this one doesn't at first glance have that sort of simplicity and stillness that the other ones that we looked at But it's got have. a very fine scale. But it does, you're it's right. Small. So And it's being, you know, it. They're basically rehabilitating mm -hmm. existing fabrics. So I mean, there's not much that this project doesn't have.